Hi, this is Rob, aka Mr. Brot from Germany with Tessa, and you are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. Frank, say something, say something, you gotta start the vlog. Say it. What are you doing? Get out of my face. This is Frank. He's old. I think you're old, man. He's old. How you doing? How you doing? Say good morning to the good people. Is there, is, is there anything you'd like to say to them? That's about it. Yep. That's about it. You got my sweet tea. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. It's gonna be a good day. Most good mornings have a wiener, right? How's it going, wiener? Have you seen mom? No, she's out getting her hair done. When is she gonna be back? I'm, I'm worried. Soon, wiener. I know. You are broken without her. She'll be back soon. Chevy. Have you seen mom? I've been looking all over. She's not out there. She's not over here. She's not in the bedroom either. I've been looking for mom myself. Have you seen her? These guys, she went to get her hair. I'm here though. I'm fun, I'm cool. I miss mom. Can we FaceTime mom, please? This is Chevy. This is Frankfurter von Steinbach. Or just Wiener. This is Diesel, Lord of all weasels. He's a Lord, he owns land. It's true. In Scotland. A whole square foot. Hey. Hi. Hi. Yes, we already introduced you to Frank. This is our oldest guy. He's a good boy. He's really good. He's actually uh, improved a lot over the last couple of years. Yeah, you're a tank, man. You're gonna live to be old, old as dirt. Right? Thought you already said I was old as dirt. Yeah, you're gonna live to be older than dirt. That doesn't even make sense. So I'm getting all my stuff ready right now to go to the truck, to Old Blue. We have that load that we picked up in Edson, Alberta last week. We're carrying on with it this week. I gotta get it down to Oski, Oskiola, Iowa. You know, South Central Iowa down there. And then I think I have a reload up near Minneapolis to come back here. I think that's the plan. So I'm getting all my stuff ready, let's go. Before we go though, we gotta get all our microfibers that we washed over the weekend clean so that we can make sure to uh, keep old blue nice clean and shiny. And off we go. We got everything with us, I hope. <laughs> hope we didn't forget anything. Picked up a couple of letters from our PO box. I'm looking forward to opening those up in a bit. We're gonna go hook up to our load and uh, bring it on down to Iowa. We're here, right Diesel? Oh shoot, I gotta put the bedding on there yet. I had to put a blanket down there for him for a lay on for now. Yeah, we uh, got this load tied down. It's pretty much the same kind of freight that we picked up in Alberta. It's just a little different, it's on a different trailer. And uh, I'll give you a look at it here. Since we're going to Minnesota, I'm gonna need one of these rocker arms, right? We'll go around to the other side. So this is for my reload, where the concrete sits on, right? And this is my lumber. tri-axle step deck I'm all ready to go I just need the trailer plate number I need to put that into my system to prove to the world and to all the gods that I have done my pre-trip all right we got a new mount set up here first one in the W9 I was hesitant whether how many uh, mounts I wanted to set up in here but I think given the nature of what I do on my channel I should probably just go with as many as are needed. So when I'm driving here, you will see me, Diesel. If he's in the back, you can see him back there. Seems good, right? And now if I turn you guys around, one second here, check this out. Nice view out the front, right? What do you think? Is it straight? You're a little off center. I realize the center's over there, but you see if I, if I put you guys right dead in the center, my GPS gets in the way and I'll stay there because that's out of my out of my way there. So 
I can't have that anywhere else. And now in the same mount, if I tilt you back, you'll be able to see the roof here. The CB usually goes in here. I want to put one here as well facing me. So I guess I can show you how I set these up since, uh, you know, I, only, I usually only set them up once in a truck, right? And then I just have to replace them. Sometimes they break or they fall off. Very rarely do these GoPro mounts fall off though. They're pretty good. So we're gonna turn you upside down right now. One sec, let me fix that for you. There we go. Now you're upside down, but I'm right way up. Or am I upside down and you're right way up? One of us is upside down right now. I'm pretty sure it's you because I'm hanging you from the roof here. Okay, so if I put you right there, how does that look? How does that look? Right way over here, like far forward as possible. Like out here maybe. That might be good, eh? And you can sort of see everything else. See diesel as well. Let's see what I'm doing here with the shifter then too. Yeah, I think that would be good. Okay, let's do that. Let's try that out. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I gotta take the sticky thing off so I can stick it on there now. Behind the scenes with Trucker Josh. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt you back there. And we wanted it right about over here. Facing directly at the driver's seat. Right about there. Uh-huh, that'll be good, that'll be real good. Okay, so I gotta take this little plastic, uh, or this little red piece off. There you go. Reveal the stickiness, and then Sort of just got to guesstimate. Mm, hopefully that's good. We can always redo it if we have to. Okay. Put a lot of pressure on for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. And we should let it sit for 24 hours, but I never do. <laughs> All right, we got you upside down again. Sneak you into that there. Now don't fall, hold on, okay? I just stuck you up there. You should be good. All right, so now I'm cruising along here. What do you guys think? I can see the, the screen off to the side here. So I can see what you're seeing. So this won't be a camera that'll like show Diesel in his seat here, but it'll show him if he's in the back there. Hey Diesel, check, come check this out. Let me know if it's good. Come here. Come on Diesel, you're a big part of this channel. He's very busy looking out the window right now. All kinds of stuff moving around there. Okay, so I'm like sitting here, I'm shifting, shifting gears, driving. I think that's a pretty good angle. I like it. Very nice. Just back down there. Yeah, then you can see Diesel. That'll be a, a little off center. You're seeing more of Diesel than you're seeing of me. Mm. I guess it's too late. There, there we go. <laughs> that's okay. You guys want to see Diesel anyway. You guys don't want to see me. Look, the camera's right here. Look. That's a good thumbnail right there. Huh? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. You guys seem to like it when I put my truck in the thumbnails. Every time I put my truck in the thumbnails, I get more views. But if I put diesel in the thumbnails, maybe it'll be even more views. See, that's the brain of a YouTuber thinking right there. Get those views. Okay. <coughs> I think we got everything. This is my head strap that I usually use since we're in a behind the scenes uh, kick right now. Usually I would take my hat off, that back there behind you, and then uh, wear it like this, see? And then you guys would be stuck right here looking at what I'm looking at. Here we go. On the way to Iowa, Southern Iowa. Let's see what the Iowinians are up to. The Iowers. Iowa's, the Iowites. Continue on this road for 22 kilometers. I just stopped by here, Santa Gap, the Flying J. <laughs> so good, so good. All right, next stop, America. We have 1,160 kilometers to go. It's probably around 1,200 miles, I think. Get ourselves back on the highway. It's gonna be a good day. I mean, the day is kind of over already, but we're gonna get as 
far as we can today. I'm gonna let this guy get in here first. Ooh, that bumper, bud. Oh boy. I'll do something about that bumper, man. That looks terrible. hit a deer or something with it. Man, that would drive me nuts. I'd have to replace that immediately. Immediately. Someone get that man a bumper. Demands entry. Okay, here it is. Here we go. North Dakota Blue Beacon Streak and Beacon It's actually the first time I'm taking this thing to the Streak and Beacon We're going to be regular customers I'm pretty sure Oh Karen, quiet Busy, getting a truck wash Very important ourselves in here so this is the Petro it's Petro Travel Center in Canada it's not the same thing as Petro Pass this is a US company Petro Travel Center I know some people uh, in my comments get them mixed up <laughs> different business altogether both called Petro enter I will, thank you. Mosey our way on to the back over here. Oh, and there's nobody in the wash base. Right on, what's the time here? 9.08, I wonder how long they're open. They're, they're not closing now, are they? There won't be any wait anyway, that's good. It just rained a little while ago here though, so I'm really hoping that, 
I don't end up getting the truck all dirty right away again, but whatever. We'll just try to go around the puddles. I think I'm going to be able to drive right in. And they request that we don't film inside a blue beacon. So, I guess I'll have to see you on the other side. I'll show you how good of a job they did. Which one should I go in? I'm going to go in this one here. He's already waiting there for me. All right, first blue beacon bath for old blue. Hey, I just thought of that. Old blue was in the blue beacon. It just, it fits. Meant to be. We'll be visiting there and lots more in the future. Let me show you. <clears throat> oh, that's going to be a thumbnail. That has to be. Yep. That's got to be the thumbnail. Clean. Nice. That headache rack is even a whole lot cleaner. They got a lot of that gunk off of there. Not bad, not bad. Everything was already polished, so they just had to get the dirt off of it for the most part. I gotta put some bolts on tire butter on the rubber here yet, but do that in the morning maybe. So hopefully we don't run into uh, rain right away. It looks like there's kind of rain where we're going. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. At least she's clean, right? At least the bugs are off her. Up on the stacks up there, I was finding it really tough in the shop to get them to shine up there again. I mean, I hadn't tried any of my products on it yet or anything, but uh, I was trying to get it off of my pressure washer and I just guess I didn't have the right soaps and stuff. I was in kind of a rush. I, I knew I was gonna stop here at the Blue Beacon, so I figured why spend hours washing the truck in the shop this morning if I'm gonna stop here anyways and can have like eight guys do it in 10 minutes. <laughs> there you go. So they put brightener on the truck and when they put brightener on the truck, they covered up all the aluminum, all the tanks and rims so that that doesn't hit that. And after that, they took those covers off and put polish on the aluminum and the tanks and the steps. Decent, I think, I would say. Happy trucker. Oh, he's going for a wash too. You go, Mr. Cheeto man. You go, go for it. This might be a thumbnail. What do you think, is this a better thumbnail? Let me know. I don't know yet which one I'm gonna use, but I think this one might be the one. All right, no more time to waste here though. We still got a little ways to go. I wanna go fuel up at the Flying J and head on into Minnesota. Probably get close to, uh, probably between Sock Center and uh, St. Cloud or something, somewhere in there. Sock Center has a really nice chrome shop though. All right, I'm coming at this Flying J from the other direction now, because I took 32nd Avenue over from the TA, or from the, the Petro, whatever it's called. <laughs> now I can't get into the driveway where the pumps are, so I'll have to go around and then come back in. Should have just taken the interstate, whatever. I thought I was taking a shortcut. It was a shortcut, but it made my life more difficult now. What's diesel at here? Three, no, not three. What am I, what am I dreaming? Three, five sixty-five per US gallon. That's very close to the prices we're paying in Canada with all the conversions. It's very close, it's still cheaper though. I think we're paying about $5.90 American per gallon. Is this where I go in? No, not here yet. I thought this was an exit. Is it also an entrance? I guess it has to be. I have to get in there. What does this say? Does this, it doesn't just say exit, does it? It says truck exit only, and there's somebody coming. But how am I supposed to get in there? Okay, I've gotta go and look at the map now. I didn't know that was an exit only. 
way we got our juice we're all filled up we averaged just under six miles per gallon on that last tank last time we filled up was in davidson saskatchewan and we drove against wind all the way home and then we had a pretty light drive all the way down here to fargo with no wind or resistance so with the the weather being a lot calmer today and no direct wind i'm driving into i am expecting to get good or better fuel economy on this tank than i did on my last It was pretty brutal fighting that wind last week. I think I averaged about five miles per gallon and I was doing 62 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour all the way back. wasn't a great trip back from Alberta fuel wise but what can you do I mean when the wind is blowing you still gotta go trucking <coughs> can't shut down just because the winds blowing the wrong direction so we'll see how far I get tonight yet you can see there I have six hours and 20 minutes available to me to drive and it really looks like we're driving into rain <laughs> just wash the truck but that's okay it's okay it's still better than driving a dirty truck right we'll just wash it again the way the skies looked I could have looked at the forecast but the way the skies looked it looked like it wasn't going to be raining but maybe I should have checked the forecast but would I would I have changed my mind I might have washed it on the way home then I don't know you never know live and learn you know if you don't wash the truck just because you're scared of the weather that's ahead, well, you're never going to have a clean truck. <laughs> oh, we travel all over and you're always going to run into weather, so eventually you just got to wash it. Hope for the best. We're going to cross into Minnesota here right away, uh, so that the town of Fargo will turn into the town of Moorhead in the next state. Same town, different state. probably go about another three or four hours yet that way I can get hopefully get unloaded tomorrow and uh, get to my reload we'll see and then I'm planning on being back oh well, as soon as I can I guess oh, I don't want to think too far ahead I don't like making plans once you make plans those plans go down the drain pretty quick every time So, Old Blue did us good and got us the Sox Center, Minnesota last night. I'm just going to wrap this up now because i got to start tomorrow's video for you. I hope you tune in. We're all caught up with the videos now. Feels good. Got to start making tomorrow's. They don't stop coming. <laughs> you finally get caught up, you got to keep going. I've been doing this for a while, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, you can subscribe, join the TJV family. I've been doing this uh, almost well, sort of a daily, it's supposed to be a daily vlog. I do my best. Uh, we uh, do a daily vlog of my life over the last 11 years or so, so you can go back in my playlist and start from 2011 and uh, see where life has taken us. I have the last 11 years of my life documented. We have over 3,000 videos on the internet. So uh, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.